other projects that you've been working on? You're out here in LA right now working with... Avenged Sevenfold. And um, you're just doing some session work with them? Well, the story behind that is uh, their drummer passed away two months ago, oh. Jimmy the Rev Sullivan. That. Yeah, and uh, it, it's a really sad thing because yeah, he was yeah. way too young to leave us, 28 uh, years uh, old. Uh. Long story short, I was on a list of Jimmy's favorite drummers, and so they called me and asked if I would do the album. And for me, it was an honor, just be, given the circumstances, you yeah, know, it's such yeah. an emotional thing. Uh, I said yes, you know, without even giving it a second thought. So anyway, I've been out here the last two weeks doing their album, and we just wrapped up the, yeah. the drum tracks two days ago. I was born the day that the Beatles completed Sgt. Pepper. Wow. So there was a certain synergy there, you know? Yeah. And uh, as soon as I was born, I was surrounded by rock music. <laughs> to make it into the pages of Modern Drummer was, I guess, the first step of, of surrealism. Then to be on the cover. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I've now been on the cover three times, so the, but the first cover was like... The way I approached drum parts kind of came from Neil Peart and listening to Rush for so many years. I mean, I was really into the way that Neil would um, develop his parts and like play one verse this way, then the next verse, even if it was the same riff, he would approach it differently, the next verse, and, and you know, play one chorus this way and develop the next chorus that way. Mm -hmm. 